hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel and in today's video we are going to be talking about how to add on vehicles in gta 5 so if you haven't already then make sure to subscribe my youtube channel and press the bell icon so you never miss any other update of a gta 5 modding video uh you need to have script hook 5 script hook uh, .net and all those files which are necessary I will link down them in the description and after that you have to go to the side of open IV so this is the side of open IV over here you have to click on download now and the setup is pretty simple so I will link the tutorial of downloading the open IV in the link uh, I'm hoping that you guys have already settled up all these things so now you have to open up the site for the mods which is gta 5 mods so this site is basically trusted by many modders of gta 5 and even i trust this site because i've installed plenty of mods from this site so first of all we will be talking about which vehicle we need for example for bikes and cars trucks anything everything is same you can do it but you have to be make sure that this livery it does not include the vehicle it only includes the paint job so uh, i will be sticking to a car like uh, 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 let's say i will stick with an suv uh, anyone any okay guys so we will do the Chag Ch Changan Unity. It looks like a good mod. Uh, so guys, if you want to see if this mod is actually good or not, you can see these likes. There are so less likes as compared to the downloads. There, there are almost 1,351 downloads, and yet the likes are so less. So we cannot uh, take risk. So Lexus LX600. I have the LX570 already installed. Um, so guys we are gonna stick with bmw x7 uh seems to have good liking uh in the people among the people and it looks good it looks good it looks good so now we are gonna click download and then over here so it will take a few for take a few moments we'll wait and while we are waiting i would like to show you how to set up your mods uh folder in the system in gda5 so first of all you have to open the directory of gda5 after you have opened the directory of GTA 5, this updates folder, this update folder, you have to first of all make a new folder of mods like this in the directory. Then copy this update folder and paste it back in like that. And these are the files. So this is necessary because in case your game crashes after loading a mod, all you have to do is just simply take this folder out of your game and it will be working as good as new okay guys that's the simplest uh, thing that's the preparation you have to do and after you have done it all the our mod is downloaded uh, I'm gonna uh, open it downloads here is a mod I guess yep here is a mod here are two files 5m or add-on we are gonna stick with add-on now over here we have the file uh, so this is the file we need uh, let me just stick it to the side open the open IV okay uh, I'm sure you guys have downloaded it so now you have to click on Windows it'll take a few moments to start and gear up uh, while meanwhile I will put it over here open IV open IV let it load here's open IV oh uh, yeah okay so the open IV as it is open first of all you have to make sure and go to the ASI manager uh, okay after opening the ASI manager these will be the three things which will be uh, I guess it would not be installed all you have to do is click 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 and they will all install in one clicks mostly so now you have to click on the mods folder click on the edit mode enable it and then click on update then on x64 then on dlc packs add this one mobm23 and for future reference copy copy the folder name 
Okay, now I will be pasting it over here. Okay, guys, it did not paste. What the hell? Just stick it away. Okay, so it has been added. Now you have to do is go again to the update. Go backwards to the mods folder once again after adding it. Now go to update.rpf, then go to common then go to data and then scroll all the way down to the dlc list.xml file now you have to click on edit now here we have the page now copy any line over here any one of them uh, for example i will go with the this line uh, control c go down and sometimes guys the mods don't work so just don't panic out and now the file name was mobm23 uh, I messed up this thing once uh, remember I will also correct it jza80 this is another mod not for the video but yep I messed it up once <sighs> let me Put the slashes, they are not right. Yep. Okay, here we go. We are done. All done. I'm gonna save it. And now I will load GTA 5 and I will meet you guys after it's loaded. So, after you have done uh, adding up your car and you want to spawn it like this beautiful LX570, which I have right here all you have to do is open your trainer by clicking f8 and then go to uh, vehicles and then go to spawn vehicle and then go to uh, vehicle spawner and go to input model and then add the model name so the model name for our bmw was mobm23 and here we have the car all looking good nice and clean so let's have a ride uh, all you, you guys can see that the car looks beautiful the lights are not working on I don't know why that's probably a flaw in the mod I will be deleting this car later on just to show you guys but yeah that's how you have an add-on car in GTA 5 uh, so there are actually two ways of adding any car in GTA 5 the first one is the add-ons the second one is by replacing so the replacement video will be releasing soon after i guess in one day uh, i guess it will be releasing tomorrow after this video so make sure to uh, stay subscribed to the channel and press the bell icon so you don't miss that video and uh, let's start modding together bye guys